so welcome to the session and and now we will be moving ahead with the next page which we will be creating so the easy way to create the page so that we keep the formatting same is to just make a duplicate of the page first page and then we can rename it goal okay and then we can rem remove the all the graphs okay. so we don't need this all we'll be adding it okay fine let's keep just one so in this we will be adding first of all uh, average goal per match here okay so what is the average goal in each match played okay so how we can do that is for that we will be adding a slicer so average goal will be uh, calculating we know total goals we have total matches also we have so we can easily create that uh, let's create a dax simple dax that will use the divide function and so here, here we will be using a speedometer to do that uh, it's coming up yeah so m average so while writing any dax you, you can give any name to it what I prefer is just adding a alphabet um, above that um, above before the name of the uh, DAX so that it so the DAX get clustered at a place. And I don't have to have a look here and there, average goal per match. Equals to divide, and we have the total uh, goals. Total goals, and then we also have your M total matches. Okay, let's close this bracket and hit enter. And we are good to show these figures. It's 2.75. So we need to convert this into a speedometer gauge. You can see this is our gauge. Yeah. So you can see it, it has automatically taken few things. Is zero is the starting value and highest is 5.50 and it has taken an average as 2.75. So you can, if you want, then you can change the figures, but I don't want it. It's looking fine. Uh, and here, if you go gauge axis, max mean target, you can set here. Minimum is zero, max you can keep as four of your choice and target is at least there should be two goals. Okay, so you can see a thin line has been created here for two. And this is the gauze you can create simple way and you can change the color as well if you want for this target let us make it uh, green so that's what it, it's it's prominent that yeah it's ex exceeding the uh, average okay so now in this we need to change the uh, data level header as well title so this will be your average goal per match you can add it here and then we need to have uh, the next one which we want is the mm, 
maximum goal scored in a match how much goals were were scored in a particular match so we can get that by we need to have a column okay for the, so to add a column just right click here or you can click from here as well from the bar new column so if you remember we have a full time score home team full time home team score and full time away team score so we 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 just need to add them and find the max one so it's very simple full time total goal okay so what we can do data is our table name and column name is full time away goal plus data full time home goal that's it and just hit enter and you'll get the uh, get the number of goals scored in a match let's change this into a card okay and replace this value yeah. and full time total goal and add it and this is this is telling me the so from this i need to have the max you can see this is what we have got we have got max number of so let's cross check this and if we we have a column already column added so if we filter out you can see maximum 10 is the number so this is what we want pen here so it's the highest number of goals scored by a team and yeah we don't get the level and title also we want is max goal in a match max goal in a match how much goals were scored highest number of goals scored in a match so if we go to the data and filter out 10 then we can easily see the name of the team okay so it was four four inst inst instances where uh, 10 goals were, were scored in a match and they were played between these teams you can see so this is how you can check and we can see easily see that this a uh, full-time home goal is eight seven five nine so you can <clears throat> you can easily figure out yeah this this data is correct So now in this, hmm. so, so, so the next thing which will be adding is another uh, two cards will be adding that will be your highest goal scoring team, which team has scored the highest number of goals. In this also, we will be using a DAX and we will also be using a uh, DAX called top N function. Okay, so that is a very essential function to learn you must have seen in my previous video that uh, we were uh, if you want top top n so you can do it from the filter but through dax also you you can find that so let's go ahead and add a measure to find the highest goal scoring team So M highest team, okay, equals, we'll be using calculate function. Calculate is the most important function in, in Power BI, sorry, most important DAX in, in, in Power BI. So in that 
for so we want a name of the team okay so like manchester united arsenal tottenham and we want the name so we will only get a name through select value function okay so it will give me a name instead of any number so i want a name from uh, data okay so for that we want uh, for that we need to have another okay so we need to have move one let's remove this and instead of that let us add here a variable that variable will find full time um, win teams okay so how we will find full time win team is so before moving ahead we need to do something on the uh, query editor so which will find me the full time um, uh, which team has won and their name actually we and if we go to the data uh, we can see that we have a list of teams and we have full time result we don't there is no column called uh, which gives me the name from this 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 both two columns okay so what i found is we can add a conditional column which will have a logical uh, name that if uh, that column h and ha has full time result column has h then it will it will go to the home team call pick the home team name and if it's a then it will pick away team name see you can do it in other ways as well what i found is he was going to the uh, power query editor and add a conditional column here okay in view this space okay so what we can do we can just add a conditional column here add column mm. conditional column here you get the conditional column and in this you can apply a logic of your own so so here you can give the name of that particular column that what column name you want so i want it as m full time win team okay so it it gives me a platform where we, i can apply my logics okay so column name first of all what i want to find that is full time is your full time uh, is full time home uh, away goal is greater than <coughs> and in this you can select a value is column or anything like that so i just want to be have a value here and if it's if it's okay select a column here then it, then it will give me a, another option for the column so i want to compare two columns a full time uh, away goal is is greater than full time home goal so then what will be the output so in the output i want here also i want a name of the um, set a column then if a v team goal is greater than full time home goal then give me a v team name okay so this is how i can have the logical expressions here in this you can select a value a column or you can set a parameter as well okay else we, if you want to add uh, under add logic so just add glue and then you can add it another one and in this if i will just select the opposite of the above full time away goal is your less than 
and change this to the column and full time home goal then give me change this to column value and change this to home goal if you if you select uh, enter a value then you have to enter a number or any word there okay <clears throat> and this too uh, so if the full time uh, away goal is greater than full time home goal then away team name should reflect there and if full time away goal is less than full time home goal then home team name should be there else they should be blank if it's not the case if they have same number of goals then it should be blank you just don't need to enter anything here it will automatically add a blank so okay <clears throat> so a column will be conditional column will be added here you can see uh, for the null let's check the first three uh, arsenal is there so if we go and check full time home goal and full time away goal you can see clearly this three are greater and names is arsenal fine let's check one more from away team this is the liverpool and if i check row number nine so you can see four yeah so our whatever we wanted to do is, is successful so let's close and apply it on the obi desktop so we have our column uh, total okay here is the column so full time win team name and so now if we and now we can create the dax which we want so in new measure so we could have done that uh, in our dax also so just to demonstrate a new way to add a logical statement instead of using the dax we can do that way as well so m highest goal scoring team so there are there are multiple ways to do a same thing in power bi so whichever suits best to you you, you can move ahead with that so calculate and then we will be having a select value this will give me a, a name of the team instead of giving a number so i want a name of a team so 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 the name should be your data m full time uh, bean team okay comma so now i will be adding all what all will do all will uh, all will take all the data of the uh, table also it, it will not um, let the slicer or any other filter to act upon it okay so in 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 basic terms what it does it it uh, removes any pre existing filters okay so all is um, function of all is only this much that it it removes all the filters it will not allow any filter to act on it and then top n what top n will do top n will be uh, will give me the first second third or from top or or from the bottom you can select any uh, value top 10 or top 4 top 3 top 1 you can select so in this a first parameter is n value so which value you want i want the first value okay and comma then second parameter tells me table name from which table you want so i want from the data table okay and then the third parameter it's tell me order by expression which column you want as order by expression so i want your m total goals okay total goals i want <clears throat> and then the order should be your uh, de uh, descending so desc so from top to bottom i want okay so just close the parenthesis so let me explain this once again so calculate function 
okay so you know calculate function has two basically parameter the first one is expression or where you will be adding a dax okay or a measure which you already have created and then the second part is to add filters okay so 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 in the first part i have just added a select value which will give me the name of the full time win team okay on what basis so on on the basis of all data okay so what all will do all will just remove the pre existing filters and if there is a filter applied and then top n top n will select um, the highest value uh, highest uh, goal scored by your team okay it's, this will uh, give me the figures of all the uh, goals scored by a team in all the seasons okay so this is what it will do let's hit enter and we have it let's up <clears throat> and then we can we will just change this it's got stuck and then i remove this and uh highest goal scoring team then just add it here okay and then we can have the highest goal scoring team name here you can see tottenham is there we'll cross check this data so we have the name and then we can just change the header here title we can have the <coughs> title as max goal what are we scored team okay so you so which team has scored the highest number of goals and then in the last and we can have your you can just need to change the font size is your total effect and total okay call out value this we need to have the font correct we had this font it's for not 45 it's very <coughs> so 30 will be fine yeah and we can just brush up others this is this is fine i think 10 so let's move this one we'll add a later on more one here a card now let's move ahead and total let's find total uh, goals per season okay in each season how much goals were scored okay so to find that we need to have the name of the teams and the total goals and i believe total goals we have already here goals total goals yeah we have total goal so let's add a clustered column chart here and and then <coughs> then we can yeah can i have it here fine and then we can add a season as as well let's add total goal first and then we need to have a season on each season we already have created a column named season so we have this you can see it's clearly here that and you need to make some adjustments and columns data level we want that should be little data level should be your vertical and the value should be your yes and less nine is fine okay i think this looks better we don't need the background and in general we also don't need uh, 
we need to do y axis because already the numbers are, are displayed here and if we do it on zero if you put this so it will give us a more bit of space and we can just remove this and and then title we can have the title as your title should be total goal per season goals per yes and then this and i think header was 10 okay, what was the header header size was 10 i believe mm. Mm, header title I think I just forgot what was the header. So you, you need to keep everything uniform so that uh, title, yes, title, it was 10. Yeah, it was 10. So I need to go here so that everything looks you. Instead of doing that, I can just copy this. Or I can just copy this one and paste it here so it's it's easy for me I, I don't need to make the formatting changes so in this what i can do i can remove this and have year and total wins instead of total wins i can have total goals yeah you can see the same thing is there and i can remove this and display it here it's easy i don't have changed i don't have to change various things now and in this let's remove the x y axis yeah and um, mm, title i don't need title so i need to remove that first and then remove this yeah so it's look better now so if you focus on this then you can get easily the numbers which we have Okay, I think I did a small mistake. Uh, okay, so it's 240 is the range, so I just need to remove this. And now it should look better. Yes. So we have the data here. Now we have the, I need to change the title as well it should be total total goals per per season <clears throat> goals so this way we need to also have need to have a have a average goal per match as well so we have this one hmm. let's increase this size So we have the total goal per season. Now let's find the average goal per match. Okay. So how, what is the average goal per match per season? Okay. So we have the season here. And then we also have the, I think calculation we already have 
the calculation average goal per match i think let me find uh, yes average goal per match so we just need to select this one and we can have it you can see we have the per season average goal so average goal in 2018-2019 was 2.8 and then in 2011, 2012 was 2.8 as well. So in the, <clears throat> the minimum average was the, the lowest average was in 2015, that was 2.6 was the goal per match. So in this, let's change the, uh, title. Uh, is your average average goal or match for is is a season okay so this is so we can we can short this uh it, it it's currently shot in the descending order highest to low in terms of goal so what we can do you can just select the any graph or chart which you have created and go to the three dots and you will find an option called short axis and then you can if you want to sort this by seasons then just select the seasons and you can see already it's descending order so if you want in ascending, so you can just click here and it will be in ascending. But we want this in our goals, total goals, uh, ascending and sorry, it we want in descending high to low. So you can just select descending. And so this is how you can short the graph. Hope everything was clear uh, in the next uh, session we will be uh, completing this page by we will also adding uh, two tables and a bar chart here okay average goal scored per team and we'll have win by highest goal difference okay which team has the highest goal difference hmm. win so let's conclude here thank you and have a good day